What an event it was, actually maybe the biggest event ever at the Hammond Library. Barry Bradford, the library director, is thrilled at the turnout for Kwani Alexander, an author who obviously has a big following. I am absolutely ecstatic over this event. We had almost 200 people here at Hammond Branch tonight for Kwame Alexander, the Newbery Award winning author for this year, 2015. This is it's like having an Oscar winning actor here. Uh, and we had a terrific turnout for the event and I'm so, so happy. This is really part of the reason libraries exist. When people say, why do we have libraries? Well, one reason is to provide a cultural event like this and to actually bring authors and people together. It, you know, that's part of the mission that we're trying to accomplish here. You chose well an author with connections to Hammond. Absolutely. Uh, Kwame Alexander, his sister-in-law lives here. He married a, a woman from Hammond. He came here and met her and, and they dated. And so they have roots here and they're coming back uh, every year for Christmas. I believe they're going to be back here and again next year. Hopefully we'll have another program with Kwame. What an inspiring message, but especially it must have been music to a librarian's ears that children can be nurtured in a love of reading. Yes, indeed. And I, I love the fact that he said, Kwame Alexander said, it's not so much a reluctant reader. A child is not a reluctant reader, but an uninterested reader. And all we have to do really is find what they're interested in and give them that to read. And they'll, they'll be interested in reading if we find out what they want to read. And that's, I absolutely believe that. For example, he said in his case it was a book when he was a young kid, a book about Muhammad Ali, the great boxer, and that turned him on to reading. He read an enormous volume about that man. That's right. He said it was 400 pages. He had never read a book over 100 pages, and here was this gigantic book of 400 pages, but he couldn't put it down. He said it was so interesting that he had to keep going and loved the book. Uh, you know, it's almost like you read a book and you're sorry it's over. I don't know if you've ever had that experience. I've had it many times. We want to turn people on to reading. We really do. That's what one of the purposes of a library is to do that. And that was his message tonight. So some wonder about technology, and that even came up in the question and answer portion. Is technology helping or hurting the desire to get kids to read? Well, you know, he did talk about television and, the, you know, that we need to also read, not just watch television. But I think that, um, you know, I think in the end, technology, like anything, can be a help. It's just how we use it. And uh, having e-books is great, audio books, whatever uh, it takes to get people turned on to reading is great. I, and I think he would feel that way as well. So Here at the library, and you mentioned this even to the crowd, there's a lot of technology out there. If a person wants to read but do it on a Kindle or do it on their phone, you can help them out. Absolutely. Library's got uh, books on uh, uh, electronic books, e-books, for any kind of platform you might have for a Kindle or or a Nook, or a, a tablet, whatever, or PC, we can provide you with material and with books. Now, one thing I saw tonight, Barry, I have to just ask you about this. You invited Books A Million to come here. Now, they actually set up a table. Isn't that trading with the enemy or something? <laughs> well, you know, I kind of look at it like this. We help each other out. Um, certainly, this is partially for Kwame's benefit to help him sell books. He came here uh, for free. He could have charged us thousands of dollars for this event tonight, but he did it for nothing, just as a free gift to the library. So we feel like we owe it to him to put on this great production with, uh, with a with nice reception and selling his books. I think, I think it was the right thing to do. And, you know, getting people reading, they come to the bookstore, they come to the library, we want people reading. So, I mean, I was being facetious because obviously <laughs> if you get people encouraged about reading, enthused about reading, they'll go to the bookstore, but they'll also go to the library. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, it's, it's, I kind of have an old thing. I'm involved in theater, and we say theater begets theater. So we're not in competition with each other so much. We are trying to, you know, we're just trying to get people to read, and that's, that's the bottom line. So with this crowd of 200 to hear an author, I mean, how do you top this? I don't know, honestly. This has been by far the greatest event we've ever had at the library since I've been here since 2008. And uh, I don't know how we top it. Maybe next year when he comes back. <laughs> so what happens in January? I mean, obviously, well, New we, Year. Right, New Year. But we begin our African American Heritage Celebration. This year we're going to give away uh, an award, an honor, to at least one African American young person who's in middle school or high school who has contributed in some way to the benefit of the community. 
And um, there may be more than one award given. We're not sure yet, but at least one award will be given to a young person. So that will start out in mid-January. We'll kick that off around Martin Luther King Day. And uh, we'll continue to have programming through the rest of January and through February. And, uh, and you know, we'll have other things going on, but uh, that's our primary focus at the beginning of the year.